Hello, everyone, and welcome to Semper Nomado Plays, the Apollo Justice Ace of 30 Trilogy, Episode 14. We just finished the prior case. We're about to start a new one. Let's get after it, man. To the next episode. Turnabout Serenade. Let's rock. We love you! Parasocial relationships with the audience, yes! Rock on, everyone! This part is not over yet! Get out your handkerchiefs for our special guest! That's right, baby! The night's just getting started! Thank you for coming to the Gaviner's Guilty as Charged Tour! This ends the first part of tonight's show. There will now be a 20-minute intermission. Gaviners? That's the worst name for a band I've ever heard in my life. This is so cool! Us at a Gaviners concert! Huh? Did you say something? My ears are still ringing. The Gaviners putting the sick back in music. Well, I thought Mr. Gavin was really nice. Sending us those tickets at 20% off? They're hard to get a hold of, you know. When you invite people to a concert, it's usually free. Let's head to his dressing room, Apollo. You know, like we're a couple of VIPs. I've always dreamed of being a VIP at a Gaviner's show. Um, Trucy? You didn't know who Prosecutor Gavin was before that case. What kind of fan doesn't know the lead vocalist's name? Oh, this guy? Well, he was more like a prince, really. He let us in. Clavier. What a lovely name. He's so dreamy. Yeah, but I'm a girl. I'm supposed to swoon over Gods of Rock. God awful, maybe. I bought all their stuff on the way home from the trial. I got 12 Gaviner's albums and 15 concert videos. That was quite a bit of impulse shopping. I got an advance on my next 15 years worth of allowance. For Mr. Wright, that sounds like a real act of generosity. Who would have imagined me here? At a Gaviner's concert watching Prosecutor Gavin rock. To be honest, he was, was kind of cool. I'm kind of envious. Not that I'd ever admit that to Trucy. Oh, what is going on in here? Ah, you made it! Mr. Gavin, thanks so much for the tickets! And the invoice you sent along with them. You're incredible up on stage, Mr. Gavin. Nothing like music to brighten the mood after a trial, ja? And we're almost ready for our next act. I'm looking forward to it myself. Lamarar's singing, right? The siren of the ballad? Oh yeah. That flyer said she flew all the way over for this show. That's right. I happened to catch her show while overseas. Her voice is divine. I knew I had to invite her to perform with us. Lamarar says, you praise me too highly. Oh, who is this guy? Oh, that's what he said too. <laughs> Whoa, who's this guy? He's huge. Ah, uh, allow me to introduce Mr. Roman Letus. Huh? Lamarar's manager and her interpreter, incidentally. It is a great honor for us to be here. And a great honor for Lamarar to be heard in this country. She speaks in Egyptian hieroglyphics and iPhone emojis. That voice. I wish I could understand it. It's beautiful. Am I about to, like, summon one of Regirock or Regice or Registeel right now? Got some Sparks dialogue out here. Or some banjo stuff. <laughs> Oh, it's Lamarar! I'm actually meeting Lamarar! I, I know that's not how you pronounce it. I know it isn't, but... Lamarar! But I, I don't know. I don't know, man. Lamarar. <laughs> that's so stupid. Mysterious songstress. Her quiet, deep song glides through the air, lilting above a sparse but elegant piano accompaniment. Now this is music. She's a real artist. Is she about to die, or is she going to be the killer? Oh, zip, 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 zip,
Lamorar says, we have long looked forward to this joint performance. Ah, Lamorar, your voice, it is art. Yet without his piano to guide me, it is but a voice. Who the hell is this now? I've seen this kid somewhere before. He plays piano at all of Lamorar's concerts. He's cute, and he's a really good pianist. Good pianists are a dry, dying breed, I hear. Allow me to introduce Machi Tobaye. He is blind. This is why he never strays far from Lamorar. They are always together. They're like characters from some fairy tale. Lamorar is so, um, what's that word? Exotic. A and mysterious. She does seem quite pretty, at least her eyes do. Hers is a kind of sightseeing music. Huh? She travels the globe, putting the sights she sees into song. Even though her appearance and voice are exotic, her songs remind us of something close and warm. Sights and a song? That's so poetic! She was gracious enough to put music to my lyrics tonight. The guitar's serenade. I hope you enjoy it. I can't wait! And now it is time. For the next part, we're giving the governor's hard rock a little rest. Lamarar, the stage is yours. The band members will not play during Lamarar's ballad. Only Machi's tender tones and Lamarar's dulcet voice. And my guitar, of course. Woohoo! Nights like this make it all worthwhile, you know? I should have learned to play the guitar. There's not much romance in chords of steel. Shall we hit the stage, then? Good luck, Mr. Gavin. Take care your hearts aren't stolen away, Jack. Ja? Let's get back to the concert hall, Polly. Sugar, sugar, oh, that night in your embrace, when you stole away the keys, my heart held on to so tight. Pleasure. But a fleeting melody It wraps itself around me And now through the air I fly Whoa Holy shit, what the fuck? Whoa Burning on in my heart Fire, burn my love away, all away, oh my god, my guitar's on fire, what the fuck? Like a bullet of love, I take my life away, all away, guitar, guitar, up together to the... Sky. I don't think that part was planned. Look, he's trying to put it out. What the hell happened, bro? <laughs> wow, wasn't Lamarar amazing? I, I even cried a little. I was surprised Prosecutor Gavin actually burned his guitar. Yeah, that even surprised me, and I'm a magician. What a production. What a destruction. I don't think Prosecutor Gavin was expecting it either, oddly. He looked as surprised as I was. Is that what they call risking life and limb for art? I think he's my new hero. I'm not sure I'd call that art. Well, what are we doing here? Let's get going to Mr. Gavin's dressing room. There's 20 minutes till the last part of the show. How many breaks does this band need? <laughs> oh my god, so true. All right, we're going to do a three-hour concert. It's going to be 90 minutes of intermission. What the heck was that? I was never consulted about it. S 
sorry, Mr. Gavin, sir. I've asked the man in charge. I play new rock, not great balls of fire. Speaking of fire, I have a good mind to fire whoever's responsible. He seems upset. Apollo Justice, were you the one who tried to torch me? Hey, I didn't do it. So much for risking your life for art. The guitar's serenade is ruined. Ruined! Well, let's try to talk to him at least. I'm not sure that's the best move right now. Alright, the flaming guitar. You mean the guitar that wasn't part of the act? Part of the act? Who'd burn up a guitar on purpose? But it worked really well with the lyrics just then. Burning on in my heart, fire, burn my love away, all away. Hmm. Wait, you think the audience thought it was? Sounds like he got lucky. They probably thought it was part of the act. At least I did. He got lucky and he didn't realize it. Anyway, that guitar was the Ferrari of guitars. All the speed, all the sound, and all the price. If I burned one of those at every show, I'd go broke! Unusually frugal for a rock band. Try saying that to Mr. Gavin. Oh. Ah, tongue! Today's been one disaster after another. My hog won't run, my guitar case is broken. Daddy told me there'd be days like these. W wasn't Lamarar's song incredible? You worked on it too, right, Mr. Gavin? Ah, yes, thanks. It was a collaboration. I wrote the lyrics, and she wrote the melody. You know, I was surprised she could sing in English. I'm sure she practiced a long time for this day. Ah, here. Damn, that was a very short song. That would be a hit on SoundCloud. What's this? A lyrics sheet. It's yours. Oh, there's more. Signed by myself and Lamarar. Yippee! Thanks so much! All I ever get to sign are client defense agreements. Contains the lyrics to Lamarar's ballad. Okay. Almost time for the third act of the night. Okay, so they tried to kill him. Like, actually. Whoever did this definitely tried to kill him and make it part of the show. So it would have been somebody with knowledge of the act itself. Because, yeah, like, the timing, like, that, the thing they did of, like, oh, the timing was so good, though. Like, that is, that is an artistic choice. Oh, there's more? Yes, Lamarar's part is done. Now it's time for us to drop our groove again, ja? Hope you're ready to catch it. Woohoo! Ready, Apollo? Damn, it would be kind of insane if they killed him off. Uh, I think I'll pass. Huh? I like the bit with Lamarar, but the rest could use a volume knob turned way down. Ah, uh, Apollo, you're getting old. Ah! Does 22 qualify as old to a 15-year-old? Well, I'm going. Let the old folks rest backstage, yeah? Time to rock. Hey, you're older than I am. Alright, let's examine some more stuff. That's an odd guitar. The design is that character I saw in the hallway, but with sunglasses. What a strange mascot. He looks like he's crying. Since when was Rock about crying? They should name this guy Emo. A police uniform. Next to it is a policeman's hat and a pair of handcuffs. Guess the band is really into the police. Must be Prosecutor Gavin's bad influence. Damn, is that a police, like, the band reference? I thought rock and roll was all about being rebellious. There's graffiti on the mirror, and lipstick. Wait, but the Gaviners are all guys. Maybe Prosecutor Gavin wears lipstick? I mean, rock bands are traditionally very gay. Just look at the Rolling Stones. They, like, all fucked each other. Chains dangle from the ceiling. They aren't glimmerous, but I bet Detective Sky'd have something to say about them. That guitar looks like it was made out of a cop car door. That's right, Trucy's not here to set me straight. Now I feel kind of lonely. 
<laughs> a delicious bowl of stew made of plastic. Huh. The bottom of the bowl has a G on it. They sell these at concerts? Whatever happened to t-shirts? A postcard of Lamorar. I can't read a single word of the sentence at the bottom. Hmm, Trucy might want one of these. I'll show it to her next time we're here. Thick leather gloves and sunglasses. Maybe I'll try these on. On second thought, no. They might be evidence for one of Prosecutor Gavin's cases. That police officer looks ready to rock. Some kids must see this and actually want to be cops. Somehow I don't think a rocking defense attorney would work too well. Oh, but it totally would. An old-fashioned speaker hangs from the ceiling. That must be to monitor what's happening out on stage. I think we had the same kind for my school's PA system. All right, are we moving? Let's go ahead and move to the hallway. Hey, it's you, that right kid. Detective Sky. I'll let that right kid business pass. Call me Emma. There's no need for titles once you've shared a bottle of fingerprinting powder. That's a new one. So, um, Emma, what are you doing here? Isn't it obvious? I'm snacking. You think I want to be here? Me, in charge of security in this pit? Security? Did something happen? There's no knowing with that glimmerous fop. Apparently, he's all upset because something was stolen. He wanted security back here during the concert. Where does he get off acting like he's some big rock star? He is a big rock star. Hey, you listening to me? So, where's this door here lead to? This one? That's Lamarar's dressing room. Don't even think of going in there unless you want a piece of snackos in your face. Is she ever in a good mood, I wonder? Let's talk about the Gaviners. Um, Emma? I've never seen someone eat snacks with such a vehemence. Better give her a wide berth. Katonk. She snackooed me. Um, Emma? about security. Okay, so I guess I present to you the lyric sheet. Oh, but like, yeah, by doing this. Emma, could you take a look at this? I'm gonna say no. Dude, what is the point of her doing this? It is a, such a waste of time. Alright, story mode, tell me what I do. So this is Lamarar's dressing room. If you even think about going in there, I'll... What was that? W was that a gunshot? Something's going on. You, out of my way. E Emma! Lamarar! Lamarar! It's not locked. I'm going in. What's that awful noise? Uh, oh, it's the concert. This dude is dead. It's Lamarar's manager, M Mr. What's his name? Latus. Oh no. Hey, you. M me? Watch this room for me. I have to call for backup. Right, understood. Y you want me to make sure no one comes in, right? And don't touch anything. I'll be right back. What's going on? I just talked to him, and now... Uh, uh, he... he's alive! Mr. Latouse, can you hear me? Sh shot... I was... shot... Who? Who shot you? I, I don't know... Ask... Ask? Ask what? Ask... W witness... Witness? Th there was a witness? Who? Cold. So cold. Witness. You're cold? D -d Don't worry. You're going to be fine. Help us on the way. Can't see. Hang in there, Mr. Latouse. Tell me, who was the witness? The 
witness is siren. Siren? How can a siren witness anything? It was the blind kid, huh? Mr. Latouse! Yipes, Emma! What was that? Uh, who's there? What's wrong? Emma, did you see anyone just now? Huh? No. I could have sworn I heard a door close. The concert's been canceled. Backup's on its way. Is Mr. Latouse... He's dead, isn't he? That's terrible. I lost him! Romain Latouse. Shot. And I heard his last words. The witness is the siren. Whatever that means. Who's that guy? The venue's locked down. We took names and addresses before letting the crowd go. Good work, Darian. I'll let you know if I find out anything about the victim. Later. It's investigation time then, yeah, Fräulein Detective? I don't need some rock and rolling prosecutor to tell me that. One request I must make. Tell no one, on staff or otherwise, anything of this. Oh, a gag order. No word gets out other than that Mr. Latouse is dead. No word of the cause of death or of the murder. Tell no one. Not even Lamorar? Not even her. We must keep everything under wraps. Oh, one other thing. I'll need your signature on this, Air Forehead. Yours too, Fräulein. On that? Hmm. An investigation request? Why just us? You two are civilians. It's standard procedure. That should be okay to sign, I think. Right. Well, get started with the investigation. I'm on it already. Ah, and one tip for you. Huh? Me? Try not to get in the Fräulein detective's way. She's in a foul mood today. Gee, I wonder why. We were all questioned as witnesses. And now none of us can go home. We'll investigate, all right. Our way. Hell yeah. Somehow I don't see us getting back to that crime scene anytime soon. I still can't believe I was there when it happened. Not an experience I care to repeat anytime soon. This is no time for navel-gazing. Let's crack this case. I worry about Trucy. She seems to have a very loose idea of what it means to be an attorney. Of course, that's not surprising considering who her father is. Something the matter? No. Let's get cracking. I'm the only one who was there. The only one who heard Mr. Latouse's last words. The word is siren. First order of business is to find out what he meant by siren. Hmm. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna let story mode take me to places. <laughs> Just so we don't waste any time. Wonder if we can make this case take like half the time the last one did. Oh, it's you. I figured you'd come. You have to let us investigate the scene, please! You're attorneys now. Shouldn't you wait until you have a client? Latouse did tell me to ask the witness, the siren. With his dying breath, no less. Doesn't that count? Glare at me all you want. You'll get no snacks from me. Please? Think of poor Lamorar. Hm. Oh well, I suppose. You did find the body with me. Great. Let's get to it. Right. Just try not to touch anything. She's letting us look. And she's not munching her snacks. This bodes well. There are clues here. I can feel it. Leave no hanger unhung, no spot unspotted. Mr. Romain Latouse, wasn't it? He was Lamorar's manager. An interpreter, apparently. This was his first time in the country. Hmm, so I'm guessing he didn't know many people here. It doesn't seem likely, nor can I think of anyone with a motive to murder him. Except for one person, of course. One person? Who? 
Lamarar. No one here might have had a motive, but she's from... What are you talking about? Er, uh, hey, it was Emma's idea. I said nothing. Always with the snacks. He's a big man, or was. I don't think even I would win in a fight with him. Which is why whoever it was used a revolver, I'm guessing. We've sent a request to the Borginian Embassy for more info on him. Well, you and I know more about the crime than anyone. Y you do? That's true. It was us who found the body. What? Hmm. I guess that's what I miss for watching the concert. Hey, I wish I was watching the concert. Anything would be better than this. Well, we know the crime took place during the concert. And when we heard the shot and entered the room, the killer was already gone. What? But that doesn't make sense. You came in when you heard the shot and no one was here? How did they leave the room? Hmm, that window is a little too small, isn't it? Mystery of the Disappearing Killer. This is the murder weapon, isn't it? This revolver? That's right, a big 45 caliber revolver. Wow, I wonder who brought this in here. I thought only police were allowed to have one of those. Why are you giving me that look? I didn't do it. I didn't... Listen, I was out in the hall eating snackoos when it happened. I, I know, I know. No one here thinks you did it, Emma. It's hard to tell with you sometimes, Apollo. Hey, what have I done? Wait, if the killer brought a revolver, it must mean they had planned this from the start. That's right, right? Revolver added to the court record, a high caliber revolver. Th that's a body, isn't it? Sure is. The victim, no less. Let's take a closer look. Eek! G go ahead, Apollo. You first. Me? No, you should go first, Trucy. Really. Will you two stop bickering and get over here? She's munching on snackers again. Hope she's not too annoyed. No clues here. I, I'm sorry, what? You don't think the frickin' bullet wound is a clue? You wanna run that shit by me again? Apollo, look at his hand. Hmm, he's holding something. Hey, no touching. You can throw all the snacks at me you'd like, Emma, but sooner or later, you're gonna run out of them. Hmm. You raise a good point. I'm a bit intrigued by this scene. Let's take a look. Ah, see there? He's holding something. What's this? A key ring? You think it might belong to the killer? Certainly a possibility. What an unusual key ring. And what unusual keys. This could be a vital clue. I wonder if one of those is like a key to a guitar case. He said his guitar case was stolen? Or that it was broken or something? Dude, these clues are in such weird spots. Eek! Is that blood? Um, why don't you examine this one, Apollo? You know more about, uh, red stuff than I do. Yep. Says who? Something is strange about this blood, though. Is that what it looks like? Or is it lipstick? Oh, like the like what was written on the mirror. And he's got it on his fingers, you can see, like the right two fingers there. Maybe he was trying to draw something in that weirdo language. Ooh, what a pretty brooch. Oh, Emma? You're not going to say, can I have it, please, are you? Oh. Look, you may be a cute little girl of 15, but that doesn't get you any special treatment with me. Oh. It's not healthy to envy the young, Emma. It's not about envy, it's about tampering with evidence. Note to self, Emma lacks a sense of humor. Use caution. You need to learn to respect your elders a little. Something seems so familiar about that brooch. 
Strangely familiar. Was Lamarar wearing that? Because I didn't really notice. Oh, we've got... Look at this over here. We only heard one shot. Did we hear two shots? Are these bullet holes? Looks like it. There are two here in the wall. From the look of it, the victim was shot once in the shoulder. The first shot must have missed. But there are two holes. Wouldn't that mean two misses? The murder weapon is a 45 caliber revolver. It's very powerful. I believe what we're seeing here is the mark left by the second bullet after it passed through his shoulder. Ouch. Sounds painful. No kidding. I wonder about this murder weapon. So this is the murder weapon? This revolver is incredibly heavy. It's been fired twice. You can still smell the gunpowder. That's odd. What's odd? Hmm? Oh, nothing. Hey, no fair, tell us! It's just something about this revolver seems strange. Strange? What do you think about this revolver? Well, it's pretty big and heavy. That's right, it's a 45 caliber. That makes it one of the deadliest revolvers around. Even the police don't carry guns this big. Really? Yeah, it doesn't make sense. You don't need so much power to kill at such close range. It's overkill. I'm not sure I see the problem. I mean, whenever I go out to eat curry, I order it extra spicy just to be sure it's spicy. Of course, I can only ever eat one or two bites. Um, and that's not a problem? There's another thing about a gun this big. It puts a lot of strain on the shooter. Strain? Yeah, say if you were to fire this revolver. The recoil would probably dislocate your shoulder. Ouch! It's like the shooter's a victim too! Yet the killer used this revolver, and quite well. I'm guessing whoever did it was used to shooting. Used to shooting a high-caliber weapon? Hmm. Well, that's about it. I think we've looked at just about everything there is. I guess you're right. I know how you're feeling. It is hard to know when to stop. But anything more involved has to wait until the squad gets here. Uh, I suppose... I'll go report the evidence. Sorry, but could you wait here till I get back? Huh? Oh, actually, we have to... Great, thanks. She left. What do we do, Apollo? She told us to wait. Great. Now how am I supposed to investigate? Oh, well, I guess it can't be helped. Let's go. Huh? Go? Time's a-wasting, Apollo. We've got a lot of ground to cover. Well, that's true, but... On second thought, why not? I'm sure everything will be fine. Of course it will. Let's go! Holy cow, who was that? Who's there? We... We didn't just imagine that, did we? He was wearing a silk hat. Friend of yours? Hardly! Whoever that was, he sure looks suspicious. What is it with today? Problem after problem. Achtung! You ain't kidding. It's the two leading members of the Gaviners, Apollo. Clavier on vocals and Darian on guitar. They're so cool. I have a hard time thinking anything. I have a hard time thinking of Clavier as anything but a prosecutor, honestly. Huh? What are they arguing about? Probably the case, I'd bet. My hog won't start. My guitar case is busted. My guitar's been burnt to a crisp, and to top it all off, someone's dead. And then there was that performance just now. What was that all about? Hey man, don't blame me. You were the one who missed the cue. Me? Miss a cue? How could I conceivably get the most important part of the song wrong? How? And what was all that tinny playing of yours? Who are you calling tinny? Sounds like they're having a spat. 
One of those differences in musical direction bands are always splitting up over. This is hardly the time. Hmm? What are you two doing here? Ah, uh, um, hiya. We were just discussing the investigation, if you don't mind. Sorry. Wait, you were what? Listen. You need to confirm that with the Republic of Virginia, Detective Crescent. Right. Anything else? What did he just call him? Detective? Ah, greetings. Darian Crescent, Criminal Affairs, Division 3. Uh, hello. Criminal Affairs? You really don't know anything about the Gaviners, do you? Something tells me that's about to be remedied. Um, about the crime. Which crime do you mean? The murder? What else? Oh, that. For me, today has been a hit parade of crimes, you see. Prosecutor Gavin was singing the blues earlier, wasn't he? Something about his hog and his guitar case. Anyway, I'm afraid you know more about the killing of Mr. Latus than I do. For now, at least. Huh? You were the one who found the body, yeah? While we were in the middle of a performance, no less. Aren't you going to examine the crime scene, Prosecutor Gavin? I'll leave that to Fraulein Detective. Wouldn't want to step on her toes. They're not exactly best buddies, are they? Emma and Prosecutor Gavin, I mean. Well, what to do next? We've already checked out the crime scene. Prosecutor Gavin may be right. We might be the most informed for once. Maybe Prosecutor Gavin can shed some light on things we found. I don't believe you, Apollo. How can you come to this concert and not know about the Gaviners? It's not surprising. Why, even our ancestors knew nothing of America's existence once. Um, I, I know America exists. The Gaviners aren't just an average rock band, Apollo. Each member is connected to the police somehow. The police? The real police. By day they pack heat, but by night they heat up the stage. By day those lips interrogate, by night they sing songs of unrequited passion. Um, okay. They debuted seven years ago with 13 years hard time for love. Then came love with no chance of parole, and my boyfriend is the prosecution's witness. The list of hits goes on and on. This year's my right-hand man, Darian Crescent. Crescend? Is it, should it be Crescend like Crescendo? But then could it, should it be Crescend? I guess Crescend. I'm just going to say Crescend. I make the melodies, and he attacks them with his guitar. He's a bit of a rogue, really. Huh. <laughs> and this guy's a bit of a perfectionist. When a performance goes the least bit wrong, he goes into this funk, just like today. I'd hope murder would be a bit more off-putting than a ruined concert. The concert today? A disaster! I'll get to the bottom of this and then we'll see who missed a cue. The missed cue? They were arguing about that before. Great, I love nothing more than questioning tormented artists. But what's this missed cue you keep talking about? Aha, you heard it, didn't you? From the audience? Um, actually I didn't notice anything. See? No amateur is going to pick up on that. Can you guarantee an entire audience of amateurs? No. Now take a listen to this. <laughs> What's that? A mixing board. We used it to record our concert tonight. Aren't we supposed to be investigating a murder? Well, we've come this far. Might as well go all the way. I've always wanted to learn about the recording industry. This is but one of the devices used in recordings. We're a five-part band. This lets us record each member's performance separately. You use the sliders to adjust the volume for each part. It does look like the guitar came in early there. Unless it's... It, but it also didn't sound that bad. Like... It could have just been a lead-in. Check it out! Yeah, I mean, the guitar came in early, but then instantly covered its tracks, so it's like, it's really a non-issue. Wow, neat! 
like it it compensated for the messed up count in by doing like an extra an extra trill. So could you say hear only the drum part? Of course. That's how we'll find the criminal guilty of missing his cue tonight. I'm more concerned with the other criminal. The one who kills people. You want help on the case? Then help me with mine. I guess rock and roll comes before prosecuting. Let's begin. First, we bring up the part of the performance in question. You simply choose the section of the song you wish to hear on the uppermost bar. Like so. There it is. Now listen. Was something wrong? You couldn't hear it? Listen again, closely. Ah, the timing's a little off, isn't it? There, right at the most important part. And even an amateur can hear it. I literally can't, I can't hear it. I don't know what they're talking about. Am I a failure of a musician? One, two, three, four, five, six. Is it because of the extra note at the end? You're missing the point. We'll never stamp out crime until we're perfect. Perfect! Here he goes again. Right. Air amateur, you will prove my point. Huh? Me? You will find the miscue. You will tell us which instrument, which part, is the guilty party. But how? Did I not just explain it? Move the sliders with L and L to adjust the volume for each part. Then, you will find the part that hopelessly bungles the cue with L and L. You'll find it with your untrained amateur ears. Nothing to do but try, Apollo. I guess. I'll admit this looks kind of fun. First, a quick review. Use L and L to adjust a part's volume. Jump to another section of the song with L1 and R1. And use L and L to switch parts, right? Got it. Once you've found the guilty part, just press triangle to point it out. Time to rock. Alright, my pride as a musician is at stake here, so like, I don't know why they think there's something wrong with this part. That was right. I thought that was the drums. Oh, it's you, number two. What the hell is that? What the hell was that bullshit, my guy? The Miss Q is right here. I'm presenting that. This part is off. Which is that? Hmm, second guitar. Ah. Uh, it was you, Darian. Oh, well, looks like the cat's out of the bag. Ah, uh, well, that's all you have to say? That kind of attitude lets killers walk free, Darian. Here they go again. Maybe it wasn't such a good idea to ask about the concert. It's starting to feel like we're just wasting time. It's all experience under our belts. That can't be bad. Mixing board added a court record. Ooh, can I, like, just do that again? Yeah, I, what I want to see is, um what it sounds like with everything. It's so, because it's like the softest part of the thing, it's really hard to notice that. Yeah, you can hear it there. But when everything is going on, it's like, it's really subtle. Guilty love? Um, I was wondering if you knew anything about this? Th that Does it look familiar? Familiar? It's mine! That's my keyring! I've been looking all over for it. What? This is yours, Mr. Gavin? I knew it. Yeah, it makes sense if it's the key to his guitar case. Apollo! How can you make that I knew it face? This is the key ring that was... Yeah, I know. Thanks anyway. 
So, where did you find it? Um, actually, the victim was holding it. Like he was trying to keep it from the killer, even if it meant his life. Wh what? What? The victim? You mean Mr. Latouse had my keys? Indeed. Hmm. When will my trials be over? Speaking of trials, I've never heard Mr. Gavin whine in court like he has been today. Emma was right about the fop, I'll give her that. Apollo! Mr. Gavin, maybe we can help. Tell us about your troubles today. I really don't think that's... Tell us! And we'll keep Mum about the keyring for now. Are you blackmailing me, Fraulein? Oh, why, yes I am. <laughs> Alright, that's gonna do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you can like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.